Hi, it's Dave Usom from the Neuroradiology Division at Johns Hopkins Hospital. Today I'd like to share with you a, yet another neuroradiology pearl and pitfall. This is a patient who presented with paresthesias in the lower extremity. What one is seeing here is a T2-weighted sagittal scan on your left and an axial T2-weighted scan on the right. The abnormality that is demonstrated is abnormal signal intensity in the posterior aspect of the spinal cord on either side of the midline. If we focus in on the axial scan, you can see it actually represents two columns of bright signal intensity in the posterior aspect of the spinal cord, and this is in the thoracic spine. So what could this represent? When we see high signal intensity bilaterally in the posterior columns of the spinal cord, there's a limited differential diagnosis, which includes B12 deficiency with subacute combined uh, degeneration versus multiple sclerosis, which tends to favor the posterior columns, versus tabes dorsalis versus copper deficiency. In this case, the patient had subacute combined degeneration secondary to B12 deficiency. The findings typically are abnormalities in the posterior columns of the spinal cord, and if the patient receives B12 supplementation, the abnormality is readily reversible. However, if the diagnosis is missed and there is persistent B12 deficiency, the patient may have position sense and vibratory sense and paresthesias which will be uh, affected uh, irreversibly. So this is a very important pearl in neuroradiology and one in which the neuroradiologist can make the specific diagnosis. If you'd like to see this presentation and other educational presentations, please see our Facebook pages with Johns Hopkins eRadiology Learning or the Johns Hopkins Neuroradiology Division Facebook page. Thank you very much for your attention and I'll see you on the internet.